Welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we're in statics and we're going to do problem 6783, okay? So it says determine the reactions at the support at A, E, and B of the compound B. So over here we have our compound B that it has a member from A to Z, then it's pinned from C to D in both ends, and then it has a member from D to B. At A, it's being clamped, and it also has a reaction uh, for so that support a point E and also a support a point B. He also has two distributed loads and we're asked to find the reaction forces that the these points are making. So A, E and B. In order to solve this, we're going to separate the left side of our member from our right side by taking away this member C D and replacing it by a to force uh, member okay so let's just start first by drawing the left side of our free body diagram and by the left side we're, I mean that we're going to draw from A all the way to Z and as I said before since we want to separate this side of the beam from member CD what we need to do is replace member CD by a force that I'm going to call force FC uh, uh, CD okay we also have a distributed load that we can simplify by one simple force that is going to be the total area of the distributed load as we can see this is a triangle therefore what we need to do is multiply the height which is 900 multiplied by its base which is equal to 6 and divided by 2 and this will give us a total of 2700 newtons okay where is it going to be located? Well, it's going to be located in the middle of my member AC. Therefore, it's three meters apart from each end. Now, we also had a clamp at A. Therefore, we need to replace that clamp with the reaction forces that that clamp does. So we'll have an AX. We will have an AY and also a reaction moment that we're going to call it moment A. Then we're going to draw the free body diagram of our right side of our member, our beam. So as we can see, we also have a distributed load that its height is the same as this one and its base is also the same. Therefore, the force is going to be 2700 newtons as well so it's going to have the same magnitude the difference in here it's that this is the point of where we're going to place this 2700 newtons it should be one third of the base from the largest side which is mean this one so it's going to be this is the largest side and it's going to be one third from the base Okay, so since the base is six and one third of six will give me two. So we'll have two meters in here. Now, we know this is point D, this is my point B, and point E is located right at the middle. So the middle will, have, will be here, three meters away from point B, and we'll have one meter left in between these two points, okay? then i'm going to move this distance parameters a little bit down because we need to do the reaction forces that these supports are creating both of these supports are creating reaction forces in the y direction so i'm going to call them ey and by respectively we have to take into account that since we are removing member CD so this member in here from our right side we have to replace it as a force so we're gonna call it FCD it is important to know that if I draw it in here in this case going to the right then over here I have to draw it going to the left just to keep the system in equilibrium after drawing our free body diagrams what we what I'm going to do I'm going to move it to the right and I'm going to start focusing on our right side diagram so i'm gonna paste it here and we're going to do the sum of three of forces 
and moments. Why am I choosing to opting to choose on the right side? It's because the right side has one less unknown. So if we check this, this has one, two, three, four unknowns. While on the right side, we have one, two, and three. So we can solve for our own. Let's just start with the summatory of forces in the x direction. I'm going to assume going to the right is positive as always. And I will have negative FCD because it's going to the left and I have nothing else. Therefore, this should be equal to zero. Next, we're going to do the summatory of moments around my point B. We're going to assume that going counterclockwise is positive. And let's see, what do I have? I am opting to point choose my point B. That way I can cancel this and the only unknown I'll have is EY. We know FCD is zero. We don't care about BY since it doesn't have distance. Therefore, we start with this four. Let's start with this four. Now, that force will want to rotate my beam like this. So counterclockwise, therefore it's going to be positive. We'll have 2,700 multiplied by the distance. It's distance with respect to point B. It's four meters. And then EY will want to rotate my member in the clockwise direction, therefore, I'm going to put a negative EY multiplied by the distance, and the distance with point B is 3 meters. This should be equal to 0, therefore, EY will be equal to 4 over 3 multiplied by 2700. And if we apply, put this into the calculator, we will realize that this is equal to 3600 newtons. Okay? And we just found out our first reaction. Next, we're going to do the summatory of forces in the y direction. I'm going to assume that going up is positive. And what do I have? Well, I got negative 2700 newtons because it's going down plus EY plus BY. This should be equal to zero. If we solve for BY, we'll figure out that 2700 will go to the other side as positive and EY will go negative. Therefore, we have negative 3600 newtons. And then in total, this will give me a negative 900 newtons. And we just solve our second reaction. So we're done with the right side. We figure out FCD, EY, and BY. Therefore, the next thing that we're going to do is pick our left side and we're going to do the summatory of forces on this free body diagram. So let's start with the summatory of forces in the x direction. Again, going to the right is positive. Therefore, we're going to have AX plus FCD should be equal to zero. We found out that AX in here is equal to zero. Therefore, this is zero in here and AX will be equal to zero. I apologize, I think I said AX. FCD is equal to zero, therefore this is equal to zero. And AX will be at the end also equal to zero. Okay, we're going to do again a summatory of forces in the y direction, assuming that going up is positive. And what do we have? Well, we'll have positive AY minus 2700 newtons because it's going down, and this should be equal to zero. If we solve for AY, this should be equal to 2700 newtons. The last thing that I need to do is do the summatory of moments around my point A. Again, assuming going counterclockwise is positive, and I'm choosing my point A in order to cancel AX, cancel AY, and FCD is zero. Therefore, I will only have one force plus the reaction moment. The reaction moment is positive, so I'm going to put it there. Now, this force, since I'm holding here, this force will want to rotate my part clockwise. So I'm going to have negative 2700 newtons multiplied by the distance, which is 3 meters. And this should be equal to zero. At the end, MA should be equal to, so the reaction moment at A, should be equal to 8100 newtons per meter. Okay? So we found AX, AY, and MA. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please push the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.
Thank you.